Hello everyone, welcome back to the second video in this series. Today we're going to be uh, setting up wildcard admin groups on our FortiGate. So uh, in the last video we went ahead and did the uh, DC side of things, but now we're going to have to actually go on the FortiGate and configure the LDAP bind and then also do our admin groups. Um, I should have added another one here that said custom profiles, so we'll do that too with our admin group. So no big deal, but let's go ahead and do it. So let me bring over my, my domain controller here wake it up all right come on buddy all right and let's go ahead and access the FortiGate and get into its GUI and the very first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the FortiGate can talk to uh, the domain controller using LDAP so that should not be very hard to accomplish it'll just take a second here to load up so we'll put in the IP address of our FortiGate all right and then we'll log in let me go ahead and make that a little bigger for you guys uh, we'll change it later <laughs> it's a security appliance and we don't do anything with security sorry about that guys so uh, yes do strong passwords in real life okay so here we go let's go ahead and set up that LDAP bind so we're gonna go to users and devices and we're gonna go to LDAP servers and we are going to create new and the name I usually use the fully qualified domain name alright if your environments big here I'm just gonna do DC1 uh, the IP address is going to be 10.0.0.0 one of our domain controller and if you remember right uh, let's go ahead and do regular here uh, we made an account in the last video called FortiGate 1 so this way the FortiGate will have its own access for this bind and it won't have to rely on an admin because you know if I get fired I don't want this to go away right so let's go ahead and hit test connectivity all right it says successful so back in the day in older versions of the 40 OS you had to actually put in the full distinguished path here you don't have to do that anymore so it's very very convenient but we still need to know where to begin the LDAP query so we're gonna come up here to browse and you know what I'm just gonna go to the top of my tree so there we go and uh, believe it or not that's it we have set up an LDAP uh, bind to our FortiGate. So the next thing we're going to need to do though is to take the user groups and make two separate groups for our admin accounts. So one's going to be for tier one support, the other one's going to be for tier two support. So I'm going to say create new. All right, so this lives on the firewall. So we'll say 40 admin one for our tier one. And instead of pointing to the individual members, because the whole goal of this is not to create admin accounts for them to be passed along from our domain controller, we're going to add a remote group. And we did this in the last video. So here's our LDAP bind. Boom. Right there. All right. And here's all of our, all of our groups. And if we scroll down for, oh, look at that, 40 admin one. Now here's the thing, though. Be very careful you have to right click and say add selected and once you get a one here you're fine so what this is saying is if anyone goes ahead and authenticates with the FortiGates and it comes back as a part of this group membership 40 admins one associated with this firewall group 40 admin one so we hit OK and now we're gonna have to do the identical thing with our 40 admin two for our tier two support so here we go so we'll call this 40 admin 2 all right and now we're going to point to that group that we made in the first video okay here we go perfect hit okay and that is done so now let's go ahead and tie this all together with the admin side of things so let's go over to our system and we need to set up profiles for both of the tier supports so Let's go ahead and do a uh, tier one. All right, so we'll call this tier one admin or, or something like that. You know what, actually to, to keep with the naming convention, to keep things simple, I'll actually do a uh, 40 admin one for tier one support. And we're gonna set all permissions here to read so they can look, but they cannot touch. So we'll go ahead and say, okay, all right. 
and let's make another profile, all right, that will say uh, 40 admin 2. And this one will give them read write access to everything. Now, normally, you know, if you have network people, if you have security people, um, it really has to do with the whole separation of duties or, you know, least privilege. But for this example, we're just going to do a read write for, for tier 2. So, all right, there we go. So now we go to administrators. Now, normally, we'd have to create the individual user accounts for the people that are administering the 40 gate. We don't want to do that, all right? So instead, we're going to use a wildcard group. So we'll say new administrator, and it's right here. Match all users in the remote server group. So let's go ahead and call this 40 admin 1, all right? What profile? The tier 1 support with read-only access that we did, and the remote group is 40 admin 1. Is that awesome or what? And we hit OK. And now we do the same for our 40 admin 2. All right, match all users in a remote server group. The profile is going to be admin 2. The remote group is going to be 40 admin 2. And now we don't have to create individual admin accounts for our users. We just add them to the group and we can go ahead and, uh, you know, let our domain controller handle it. So before I end this video, because we're going to have a full test here in a second, uh, let's just test it out because I actually had Devin associated with one of these groups. As you can see here from the FortiGates GUI, there is no other account here. All right, so, but I did associate Devin, I believe, with tier one support. So let's go ahead and log out. All right, and now I type in Devin, and then I use my super secret admin credentials that I signed up with my domain controller, and I failed. <laughs> I cannot remember what group I was in. All right, so you know what? I'm not afraid to fail. That is okay. So let me go ahead and go back to my domain controller. And, and test the group. Um, in fact, you know what? That's okay because I'm going to go ahead and close this video and we're going to hire someone brand spanking new and uh, we'll see if they get access to the FortiGate. By the way, I think I just forgot my password. So, uh, But go ahead and I'll see you in the next video and we'll see if this all works. So, All right. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon.